Oh, high scrappers, yeah. Got a um, a very big um, IBM um, system 400. Um, it's the i400 uh, N9404 uh, uh, from uh, around 1991. Um, just thought I'd scrap this out because uh, it's you know it looks pretty interesting and uh, it's huge. It's uh, you know the biggest PC that I've ever done. Um, Here's a little, you know, regular PC just for comparison. Um, this IBM um, it weighs about uh, over 50 kilos or over 120 pounds. And yeah, I'll just get into it a little bit. It's uh, inside's very dusty and very. Um, it's got a lot of cobwebs. It's been sitting in storage for probably, you know, 15 years or so. So. There might be a few parts missing out of it, I'm not really 100% sure. But um, this is just uh, very heavy plastic. And uh, yeah, so I started to, um, I've undone a few screws just to uh, help me speed it up a little bit. But uh, so that's your main power switches. You don't have a key for it, but it requires a key to um, open, a, turn on the actual machine don't have that key which is another problem so so I figured I might just scrap it out and just see what's inside um, there might be some um, some components that um, that might be worth keeping for uh, to pass it on to a collector to sell it to to maybe on eBay or something but uh, yeah it doesn't doesn't really look like there's there's going to be a great deal in there um, that's a this is a drive caddy and these, these, I think, are where the uh, motherboard is, where the CPUs are, I think. Um, they, they just slide out, they're like big boxes. And uh, this one I've sort of opened up a little bit. Give you a little look. And uh, yeah, so I'll open this up further and we'll get a better look on, on what's actually inside it. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, so it's going to take me quite a while to scrap it, so I'll just, um, I'll just, uh, you know, put up little stages of scrapping stuff out of it. There's an, another board, another box here. The same kind of deal. It's, it's original IBM sort of thing, so I'm going to have a look. I want to see what uh, if there's any CPU in there or what this, what the deal is with these. This one here, it's a drive box. So, uh, you know, but there's going to be, um, you know, obviously from 1991. So everything in here is going to have some decent gold components. Uh, up here, this one's empty and I've seen uh, one working and this was empty as well. So there's nothing really major missing in there. Um, maybe the power supply is under there. I know that this is an uninterrupted power supply. So, I'll just get into that. Now this is an uh, old style UPS. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy this. And I believe that, uh, so as you can see here, the date of manufacture is, uh, 1989 for this particular thing but I believe that the whole unit is from 1991 um, so about 25 years old so far but yeah this is a very heavy little thing I can see this uh, there's a board in here so the IC chips and stuff in this board is going to be pretty good good uh, for gold recovery but I believe that there's a uh, lead acid batteries in this so that's it, and uh, the only other thing on the front is this uh, this control panel. And uh, so what I'll probably do, um, so have a look, see if you can see the boards in here. There's a board, and there's some, um, you know, there's a really nice EEPROM here, and nice IC chips. So again, these are going to be really good, uh, probably pretty good for uh, 
gold recovery. Um, you know, good value board. But uh, most of it, this is the back of it. I'm getting it here. And uh, so, yeah, we've got here, you, we've got uh, giant slot cards, right? Kind of like server slot cards. And they're huge. Anything. Um, so these are the huge slot cards. As you can see, uh, international business machines. So IBM. Um, you can see the, the gold pins here. Nice slots. And inside, you know, we also got really big slots here. Be a lot of good gold pins. You know, being uh, 25 years old, they poured on the gold in these in these um, systems. So uh, gold was very cheap in 1991. So uh, they used as much as they can. And, uh, and so I'll open up these slot cards and see exactly what's inside them, what the boards look like. It's just gonna take a while to get, get through it all. Another slot card. Yeah, I can see that the boards inside are, are, are going to be really good. And uh, there's also little, little boxes so sort of like a, a slot card inside a slot card um, so that, that's going to be really interesting too um, I can see a whole heap of IC chips in there so um, I'll open all these up and give you a look at what's inside all of them and yeah but, uh, so it looks looks like it's going to be um, for the, the, the components that we're going to get out of them it looks like it's going to be pretty good value in scrap um, yeah uh, same as here the, it's got all these well this is like an empty caddy so obviously you can put different kinds of slot cards in there um, there's a box so you know it's a heavy little box so the, the boards in there are going to be pretty good I can see uh, you can see the gold pins on these are really don't know if you can see it but they're, they're they're going to be really really good value gold i can see the gold pins inside i can see um, a lot of ic chips more gold pins here so it's going to be really good for gold recovery get them all out three Four, five, six, seven, and this one's a double one. So uh, it's obviously got some, um, you know, capacitors and stuff that they had to raise it up. And so yeah, so inside there, there's a. Uh, um, there's a there's a back plane board and it's just loaded with pins gold pins in that so that's going to be really good and uh, don't know what else is in there once we start getting into it um, yeah I'll start I'll try and remove all the steel out of it that I can unscrew and take out and uh, try and lighten up the load and I can get rid of it. Okay, this is obviously, uh, okay, well this is obviously the power supply unit. Wow, check, check this baby out. Weighs about, uh, about 20 pounds, 25 pounds. Uh, huge fan in here. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's also going to have circuit board in there with uh, some gold pins that they slot into, and uh, so we'll check check this out. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. It's uh, the biggest power supply unit I've ever seen. So obviously this one I'm going to, you know, try and open up and get everything get everything I can out of it. And 
yeah so it looks like there's there's well there's nothing down the bottom anymore um there's just something in the center of it another kind of box definitely want to get out this pin board and uh well i can see if i can just get off the top just more plastic get out these side boards side panels here if they come off okay well they're just uh, big big steel side panels uh, no good to me you know um, when I took off the front this front panel um, it's just plastic and that but because it is what it is I might keep it just in case you know you never know might be able to sell this so I uh, might be trying to restore one and theirs is broken so I'll keep the front and the back and probably even the top um, you never know um, I can always throw it out another time but, uh, let's see um, okay so that's the front panel there and I'll probably keep this front panel um, I'll see where this uh, wire leads to and if I can take this wire I might attach it back to the front panel here but um, so yeah we've, we've got some IC chips got this uh, EEPROM here we'll just see if it's got a glass window should have yep okay so in there yeah you know so these these EEPROMs are the best value EEPROMs um, and because of its age these are, um, are going to be really good value um, gold inside there it's going to be um, yeah really really good value high grade um, so yeah gold pins some gold pins here and mostly uh, just some IC chips a crystal and we'll, we'll get this out and we'll see what's underneath it but um, yeah uh, well I've already taken the EEPROM out I might put it back in straighten it out again put it back in and um, but uh, maybe not I might just might just keep the, the panel itself we'll see how I feel um, I removed the box from inside to get the back plane board out as you can see the um, you know it's just loaded with uh, gold pins um, and they're going to be very high quality gold pins other side there's also gold pins on this side here that it all slots to so yeah um, very high value um, back plane board this one with these high grade gold pins so definitely you wouldn't want to sell this board you you want to get this gold recovered yourself but um, that, that back plane board was in a, in a metal box and it's all aluminium actually. So I got quite a lot of aluminium um, just from that box. And th these are uh, just a heavy kind of like a cast piece of cast aluminium. You know, there's about, uh, about two and a half pounds. These ones, about three pounds. And yeah, a couple of them. Another sheet. This sheet here because it's just a clean sheet of aluminium I'll probably keep it just in case I need it for a project but um, yeah, all, all that aluminium there was just the box that was sitting inside here basically just holding this back plane board and inside uh, not a lot left but uh, there's these really large ID cables um, they're going to be really good gold value and uh, and just uh, where everything sort of slotted into it's basically all just these all these cables okay so now I've got out the um, the center panel and basically it's just a junction for all the the connections everything sort of the front to connect to the back and all the IDE cables and uh, but uh, other side where all the, the cables sort of plugged into the um, the actual boxes those large boxes that I took out they slide into these so they're all going to have nice gold pins again nice pins in there um, so yeah that's all out um, so, you know 
nice nice junction boxes some wire but um, yeah quite a lot of gold plating in just in this central panel and now I finally got myself an empty tower it's uh, that's all done so I can throw this away and uh, finally get into all the good stuff got everything um, sorted out taken all the components out of the the tower scrap the tower it's off to scrap steel so just a few things is the uh, this was the uh, UPS the uninterrupted power supply so it's like a backup power supply to the the computer if in case the power went out and so I'll just uh, give you a quick look so we've just got a little board here take out so all we've got is just a little um, power supply board it's got some heat sinks on it and uh, you can see these IC chips here are um, you know they're going to be pretty good um, scrap value they'll have uh, you know a bit of gold inside each one of them and in the rest these are um, just batteries just like in a modern day UPS these batteries are uh, they're little um, they're actually sealed units and um, and it's actually a lead acid battery or two batteries two lead acids so um, I'll remove these and sell these with car batteries and so on and other UPS batteries the rest rest of the uh, unit is uh, aluminium then we had um, these three boxes here um, and the huge power supply here with the big fan if you remember uh, so basically it's just a huge fan I might keep for another project and inside the uh, power supply unit it's basically you know just your it's very dusty but just basically what you would expect from a power supply some large transformers some large capacitors another bigger transformer here um, there are quite a few IC chips you not be, might not be able to see very well because it's very dusty but um, the IC chips in this one because again it's it's 25 years old these IC chips will be uh, good value IC chips there might be some tantalum capacitors in there um, but uh, yeah a bit of wire and all the plugs will be gold Oh, there's some gold pins there so the plugs will be gold pins um, but yeah not not a lot different to a, a regular power supply your transformers heat sinks some wire and um, and a few gold pins to take out and we had the uh, the back plane board that you saw with all the aluminium casing that it came with and these things here are really exciting these uh, remember the seven slot cards that I pulled out of the the back of the C, a PC. Well, this is where it's all at. Um, uh, I thought initially that uh, these boxes were actually where the motherboards were going to be in, but that's not the case. The motherboards are are all in here, and uh, there's all kinds of slot cards, circuit boards in here that I'll show you quickly. And so with these boxes basically they're just um, hard drives so I'll have a little quick closer look at um, one of these hard drives but there's this one had one and this one here has got two hard drives the old style there's also some circuit boards on the ends of these drives it looks like so uh, these will be uh, really cool um, so they're original IBM hard drives, um, 1988, 1990, and so these will be really, really high value to uh, scrap out. And then the third box was the the uh, the cartridge drive, tape drive, basically still got a tape in there. So pull it out. So it's still got one of these original data tapes, 150 megabytes and uh, it's still in very good condition so I'll probably just keep this and give this to a, uh, a retro you know vintage collector 
they might have use for this tape because you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't find these tapes very often and there's no gold recovery in this tape it's just a, a, a data tape but uh, even inside the tape there's I can see a nice EEPROM here there's very large fat um, flat packs in there so this drive will be you know there'll be some precious metals to recover out of this drive and the side of the drive just a regular board for heat sink um, some capacitors and some nice IC chips here that we can um, take off and the rest is just basically an average board uh, there's actually um, these capacitors here these ones are tantalum capacitors the resin dipped type of tantalum capacitors so there's a couple there a couple of very little ones some odd ones scattered around they're not tantalum obviously so yeah um, so I'll, I'll give you a little look at inside one of these hard drive cases and finally I'll go through these seven slot cards and uh, you're gonna see some real nice stuff in here so I'll okay well the lights gone down a bit outside so I thought I'd come inside and go into lights so I've got a few things here that uh, I'm just going to have a quick look inside the tape drive board um, have a look at one of the hard drives that came out of it and then the seven uh, slot cards that I got out of it um, they're the most exciting part of it so uh, um, so stay tuned for um, for me to get through all of them as well that tape drive um, you know obviously you know it depends what where you are in the world some countries you could probably sell them but uh, here in Australia we don't really have many you collectors or people that are into this sort of stuff um, so basically yeah that's that's the old board for this old tape drive um, so again anything that's old you know in this era or before is always going to be high quality um, components like you got uh, a really nice um, uh, EEPROM here with the little glass window that's going to be high grade these flat packs are all going to be high grade flat packs um, the IC chips uh, again with the gold pins all the gold pins are going to be high grade little things here little crystal here and just little resistors and little um, MLCC's couple of tiny little tantalum capacitors not much on the other end but that's basically it that's for the the board um, even on here it's a, it's a good little good grade and the hard drive um, I just sort of pulled it out sort of there was a uh, this board here on the side as you can see it's got some really nice um, flat packs here some ICs nice and chunky they're going to be really good good quality some gold pins and the rest of the hard drive well it's it's a bit of an unusual hard drive that you normally see it's got a really big fat round sort of part here there's going to be probably um probably four or five platinum um coated discs in there got uh some uh looks like uh, yeah, they're just kind of like resistors got some big uh, flat packs here so Not really a great deal that you can see or there's not probably not a great deal on this the main board is actually in here and Funnily enough, it's only um, it's it's on a ribbon tape. So it's sort of stuck in there And it's just uh, it's not a circuit board. It's a it's it's just ribbon tape with uh, components stuck on it so if I can just sort of get it out it and it's stuck to that part here get rid of that so we've got a little circuit board here and a three tier board up here with um, there's gonna there's some IC chips inside so it's as you can see it's three tiers so I'll get rid of that later and you got this ribbon board and yeah it's uh, pretty interesting it's uh, you can see the um, 
MLCCs, the really big MLCCs. Now remember, this is, uh, what is it, 25 years old nearly. So these MLCCs are obviously going to be probably the highest capacity or probably the, you know, the highest um, level of palladium to silver in these ones. So these really boost up your MLC box for sure. Um, some IC chips, another MLCC, some little resistors in there. So, uh, so it's, um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting little thing. There's a lot of little resistors here. Um, so it's uh, qu quite an interesting little circuit board, you know, or a circuit ribbon, whatever you want to call it. So that's with that hard drive. So there are a couple of extra little things I've got. Now for the, the real stuff, these, these huge, um, let me just get up here a bit, huge slot cards, server boards if you like, but uh, I've opened them up to make it a bit quicker. So each one is a little bit different, so uh, you know, hang around and check these out if you want. Um, you know, I've undone a lot of the screws, so it's just a matter of, okay, well, <laughs> I haven't really had a look at these yet, but uh, can you see anything cool on this board so far? This is just the first board, random board that I've taken. Um, I can see it. It's around there. Look at that. That's the Motorola 8060 series. I'm pretty sure. Definitely looks like the Motorola. Okay, so this one's um looks like it's been mounted onto the board, but you know if you've seen my uh, latest video on the top ten CPUs, this was at number four, the Motorola, and there it is. There, it's only a little CPU. So I was wondering where the CPUs were on this um, IBM 400 series, and uh, well, they're on these actual boards. And you can see there's two EEPROMs here. They're the, the ones with the, the gold, uh, with the glass uh, tops. So they're going to be high value. You can see a huge crystal oscillator here. And another one up here. And then some beautiful IC chips. Got lots of nice gold pins. Um, and this is just board number one. And under these little covers, are going to be some kind of flat pack if we can get into them probably going to make a bit of a mess okay so we've got some sort of white ceramic kind of chips in here not really 100% sure what we got there but um um, I'll probably just uh, I'll check them out closer when I uh, depopulate the board using the air gun. Uh, definitely want the CPU. Just uh, it's um, it's kind of you know it's uh, identical to a eight a, um, to a um, to the Motorola. It's not an eight oh six oh. I think I said that before. It's not eight oh six oh. It's uh, yeah, but this Motorola is identical to um, the regular ones that are just slot in, slot out. Um, but except. Well, from the top, I'm just not sure what they're like underneath because uh, they're mounted on. They're not. Um, they're not. Uh, you know, just slot in. So, but that's beautiful. Just first board, Motorola chip. Got some very unusual one here. Don't know what these ones are going to be like. It probably looks like about the same kind of thing. Um, they are IBM chips, but. Uh, not exactly sure um, what their story is. They look like they've got a lot of, you know, it looks like silver in there. I can't see any gold, but it might be gold underneath. I'll, uh, I'll find that out when I depopulate some of these boards. But that's the first slot card. There's seven of them, believe it or not. So, and then this box was obviously in here as well. It was slot into this. I think it was slot into this one. It might have been another one. But uh, basically, these boxes, I think that that's all aluminium, so got some good aluminium there. I might not, yeah, it looks like it. Um, and look at that nice gold pins and 
check out all these IC chips. Um, you know, again, 25 years old, so they're going to be all high value IC chips. Uh, they're going to put a real good boost to the IC chip bucket, depopulate all that. Certainly wouldn't sell it because uh, these are really good value. Not 100% sure what these yellow things are. They um, they actually look like they're, they're, they're kind of capacitors. I don't know if they're tantalum capacitors or not. So I'll have to get back to you probably on them ones. They've got a little positive sign on the bottom to show you know which way they sort of go up. But um, I'm not exactly sure with these old style whether they are tantalum capacitors. Same as these boards here. You can see there's a whole lot of these yellow um, capacitor looking things. I'm going to have to check them out to see whether they are tantalum capacitors or not. They've got some serial numbers. Um, uh, this big one here, 5615372. And then it's got 9102. Uh, it's got positive and negative symbols on this one. So I'm not really sure whether they're um, they're tantalum capacitors or just regular capacitors or what their story is. Maybe they are tantalum capacitors because of the fact that they're 25 years old and they didn't have the 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 flat surface mount ones. Maybe this was the old style surface mount. But I'll have to check them out. But there's quite a lot of them. So you'd think maybe they are tantalum capacitors, which would be really nice. Um, so that's one. Hopefully I'll, I'll get through the other ones a little bit quicker for you. Don't want you to hang around. Okay, so this one's just a smaller one. It had a smaller little box in it. We'll just check out this box. Okay, all right. So it's the same kind of deal. It's got some little flat packs, IC chips, uh, quite a few um, uh, MLCCs, and then it's got this big um, aluminium kind of covering over uh, uh, the main the main chip. It, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a it's like a white ceramic. So I'm not 100% sure exactly what 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 the story is there. Um, obviously, we don't get to uh, process 25-year-old um, um, computers every day. So, um, so it's like a white ceramic. It looks like, you know, it's definitely um, silver and um, and little silver contacts. You know, it, who knows? It could even be a bit of platinum in there or. Palladium, I'm not sure, but it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably silver um, But yeah, it's a white ceramic and it's uh, mounted to the board So the only way is when I depopulate it with the air gun I'll get to see what's underneath it and then I might break one up to actually get to see what's What's inside it? So I might do another little video on these kind of uh, CPU kind of IC chips in another short video But I just want to speed this along so we'll check out this smaller board. Let's see what we got there. If I can get it out. Okay. Okay. So it's the same sort of deal as the, the other, as this one. Um, basically, this is a half board and this is a whole one. And so we got some, you know, again, we got some really nice IC chips. Got some little flat packs here. Um, again, these yellow things. They might, you know, they're. I'm pretty sure the capacitors, I just don't know if they're tantalum. Beautiful um, set of pins here for gold. Another two sets of pins here for gold. Uh, and like I said, these IC chips are all going to have, you know, they all should have a, a nice little bit of gold. Because um, they made these when um, gold was pretty cheap and silver and stuff like that. So we'll get another one. This, this one, if you remember, there was the uh, big double one. And we'll have a look. So this is all cast aluminium. So uh, quite a lot of aluminium in this. Okay, we've got some nice, nice aluminium heat sink here. Just a basically a, a power board. Um, yeah, not a lot, but uh, you know we've got some IC chips, but not as much on this. Big transformers. Big capacitors, aluminium capacitors. There are some gold pins along here, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so the only thing I'm going to want off this are the gold pins, the little IC chips, 
and I'll probably take off these large um, heat sinks. That's board uh, slot number three. One, two, three. Oh, there was eight. I think there's eight slot cards. Okay. Well, here's number three. Another board again, different. Have a look. Okay. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay, so we've got another um, Intel 82. It's another kind of uh, a mounted CPU looking thing. Got a couple of more of these, a few more of these uh, white ceramic ones. Um, these IC chips. I think these are the EEPROMs. Um, huge uh, crystal oscillator here. All right, they could even be gold ones. Okay. Well, that it's hasn't got a gold plate, but inside some of these crystal oscillators, especially older ones, they can also have gold as well as silver. So definitely throw them in with your pile. But because I can't see any gold on it, I'll just throw it into the regular kind of crystal oscillators. Uh, I keep the ones with the gold backing or any visible gold, I keep them separate. Um, so yeah, um, got a whole heap of resistors here. Um, looks like these could be um, old style tantalum capacitors. I'll have to look at them a little bit closer. These resistors here are very unusual. I'll have to check them out. Um, but the rest, again, you know, these, these yellow capacitors um, and a whole heap of IC chips. Okay. Let's get another one, eh? What have we got here? Okay, this is a little bit different. Another, another one of these boxes. It's got a couple of, couple of empty ones. Okay, let's have a look at what you got. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, another one of them. Some IC chips. Looks like maybe, you know, it's a prom kind of thing. IBM 1990. Um, yeah, quite a heavy little thing. You know, really nice gold pins there. And um, going to be some really nice gold pins in there too. Nothing on that side. But yeah, as you can see, just even these little boards, you know, it's got one of these ceramics. It's got um, some great IC chips, really good gold plating. There's obviously, um, there's going to be a lot of value in this CPU. Wow, okay, hey, yeah, we've got another, <laughs> we've got another one. Well, that's, that's a bonus. There's two so far. There's another Motorola gold CPU. Beautiful. How's that? Number four most valuable CPU in my my book. Couple of lovely e EEPROMs. And check that out. Got these CPUs. Um, got a whole heap of stuff on this. A lot of pins. Um, this board here is actually really, really nice. I might actually just keep this as a bit of a collectible and, um, and maybe do a bit of research on this board because there's just too much good stuff on it to um to pull it apart straight away you know so you know this is lovely you know it's just um I'm, i might even just keep this as my own little collectible because uh you know I'd, I'd like to have a board with one of these motorola cpus on it um and you know just beautiful massive uh um crystal oscillator there and another one there and um you know a whole heap of these yellow you know capacitors what could be uh, tantalum there's there's a uh, yeah some really unusual looking things on this board look a couple of more cr large crystal oscillators here um, it's just the whole board this whole board is precious metals everywhere you look this is this is like a jewelry shop um, you've got more precious metals here than than in um, yeah in pretty much any board that I've you know most boards that I've seen um, sure the actual circuit board isn't gold plated but it doesn't have to be because I can just see you know a whole lot of value here just the gold plating on these pins going all around going around at both sides these white ceramics have got to be something pretty cool so I'm gonna keep this board because this board might actually be quite valuable just as it is and um, I think I'm gonna enjoy just keeping this in in my collection so I'll put that one aside 
special little thing. But yeah, so uh, is is something interesting because this first one with the Motorola, it's actually bigger, bigger than this second one. All right, you can see this one's a really tiny little Motorola. Um, it still is mounted. It's not it's not slotted in, but this this Motorola is actually a bigger version, a little bit bigger. So um, so yeah. I might even, um, yeah, well, I've sort of ripped this a bit, so I'm probably not going to keep this one. But I'm definitely going to keep this one, because it's really unusual. And, uh, okay, got three to go. Oh, wow. This is a huge board. It's a full board. And just on the back here, I can see all these IC chips. Check them out. Bloody hell. They're beautiful. They're going to be awesome, right? So we're going to have some really nice gold recovery here if I choose to um, scrap this one out. Holy dooly. Okay. So here we've got a huge IBM. It's a 93X0128. Whatever that means. Um, I might check this out. But again, um, another whole double row of IC chips. And... Check out these gold plated pins here. That's all gold plated and that's heavy gold plated. You can tell. Um, just stands out. Um, and uh, beautiful. I mean, that's all. You know, in those days, gold was cheap, so they could afford to do this. Have, you know, just exposed gold plated pins all the way. Um, more pins up here. But um, a whole heap of these ceramic packs. And. Uh, this one here is also, it's actually a white ceramic CPU and it's it looks like it's an aluminium heatsink on top. And um, so uh, I might keep this one as it is for now as well because uh, uh, look at the size of that crystal oscillator. And another one over here, huge. Um, I'm going to probably keep this as it is until I uh, do a little bit of research. So I'll research the serial number here. I'll probably even research the serial numbers on these aluminium coated ceramics and um, you know and just to see what they are first and um, you know who knows they might be really you know valuable um, if so I might try with a heat gun and try and desolder the um, the actual whole CPU and try and recover the CPU as it is might even put it if it is a CPU I might just put that in the collection because um, I don't have a white ceramic CPU in the collection. Okay, well, we've got two left. How do we get here? Oh, again. <laughs> My God, this is unbelievable. There's another Motorola Gold CPU. That's the third one out of this, this IBM. Um, again, we've got... Jeez. Uh, so this one is the... Uh, yep, it's a bigger one. Um, so it, it's, it's definitely different to this one, and it's different to the one with the small one, but it still has the two um, EEPROMs that I'll probably keep as this, because these EEPROMs themselves might be quite valuable, you know? So, you know, you might be able to take off these two EEPROMs and sell them for $20, $30 each, you know? So they're definitely worth, um, you know, taking care of. Um, so more of these white ceramic aluminium covered, another huge crystal but yeah just another beautiful one of them more little um different kinds of ic chips here some lovely gold plating beautiful gold plating um wow that's um pretty cool so i've got three um three of them with motorola cpus the gold ones on there so you know um i don't really need to tell you that um um there's some pretty Pretty serious uh, scrap value in this seat, in this PC. And mind you, it was really hard to get, you know, to try and find someone to get rid of it. No one wanted it. Lucky last. Hey, four. How's that? Four of them, unbelievable. So, another two really nice EEPROMs up down here. They're just regular sort of PROMs. Um, so, this one's a bit. A bit rusty well not rusty but it looks like it's got a bit of wear but um you know a whole heap of these again i mean it's just unbelievable 
So I've got four of them. So that's one. Um, and yeah, they're all similar, but they're all slightly different. A little bit different each one. That's one. That's two. That's the three. And that's the four. And that's this one's my favorite one. It's only a little gold CPU. It's just got a, a, a really nice variation. And actually, I, I don't mind this one either. It doesn't have a Motorola CPU, but it has this big um, IBM CPU, which is a white ceramic. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, yeah, it's definitely an aluminium heatsink on top of a white ceramic. So this one here, I'm going to probably keep as a collectible too. Um, even though it's got a whole heap of IC chips even on the other side. Um, I think that this, this board, um, seeing that I've just pulled it straight out of a PC and, you know, I can take good care of it. I might just uh, keep these two as uh, collectibles. Do a bit of research on the others and make sure they're not um, something special. But, you know, like this one here, this might actually be a nice board too to keep. But, uh, yeah, as I said, for, for precious metal recovery... You know, we're going to have gold, palladium, platinum, going to have a lot of silver in this, um, but, you know, a lot of gold. And, uh, uh, wow. So, um, well, that's a, probably the best CPU scrap I've done, done for quite a while. Uh, all right, well, uh, keep scrapping, guys. Um, have fun and, um, and uh, yeah, just uh, keep your eye out for anything old old cpus old old computers um old big old servers doesn't matter what they are um just uh get into them and um and uh yeah what a you know this is a beautiful scrap so uh all right well have fun keep scrapping and i'll uh, catch you next time